Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Chidabe, the anchor of this channel, Smart Arguments. Today's video is follow up to our previous video titled How to Create Multiple Websites from One Domain. So I advise you, if today is your first time of visiting this channel or you have not watched that video, it is better you pause this video right now, go back and watch the video, and come back and join us so that you will flow with us and understand what we are doing. Now. I hope you remember that in that video, we stopped at this point where we have created a subdomain called www.smartaffiliate.com and we told you in that last video that we are now going to develop this subdomain into a full website. That's why you need to go and watch that video. But today, the website will be created will be looking like something like this something like this we want to create a website that looks as you are watching the screen right now something like this now what we are going to create here is not a blog it is a portfolio website in other words it's a website to showcase your business so you may be a lecturer, you may be a lawyer, you may be a dancer, you may be a dry cleaner, you may be a chemist, you may be a pharmacist, but you want to put up an online business. This is exactly the kind of website you should create. So this here now is for an accountant. This person you are seeing, this website is for an accountant. And when you scroll down, you can see what this person is telling the world that she is into. You can see it, accounting services, the next thing that she does is tax services, the next thing that she does is financial advisory and so on. So in your own case, you may be a drug cleaner and you now want to showcase the world what you do. Say here and then say the services I render, what I do. Your own case may not be accounting services. It may be dry cleaning services. It may be lecturing, lecturing. It may be legal advice. It may be, it depends on what your niche is. So this is a, a, a simple website to showcase your business. But if you can hold on and go along with me, I will show you a trick that we will use to convert this website to a blog, if that is what you want. I'll show you the trick. So somewhere along the line, I wouldn't know exactly where. That's why I advise you to stay put and watch this video to the end so that you know exactly where. I will now start the trick of converting this uh, website into a blog. But for now, this is what we are going to create. So let's go back to the dashboard. Remember that in the last video, we created and installed the WordPress and we stopped here. When you look at it, look at what we did. This is where we stopped. So we have installed WordPress. Now we want to see how we can now develop this WordPress to look like what I have shown you here. How do we do that? Just follow me. Now we have come here. The first thing we need to observe is here now this is our dashboard this is specially for you nobody else sees at this back end this is the back end of your website let's do something now as a control to our website when you come here now called my blog this is what wordpress called our blog because while we were creating this uh, subdomain we didn't give it a name we just left it and WordPress has now given us a name for it, my blog. 
But as we go on, we will change this my blog to what we want it to be. But now when you click on this website, let me right click, say visit website. Let me right click on it and say open in a new tab. Now, when this opens, as you are seeing it here now, it's opening. This is the website the way it looks. This is it, the way it looks right now. My dear, as far as I'm concerned, this is looking ugly. This is actually ugly. So, we have to do something to make it look like what we have here. That's why we are here. So now, let's now do the first thing that is necessary here. Remember, I told you that when you create this subdomain, the only thing that will help you to create multiple websites from one domain is cPanel. If you have a cPanel that will enable you to do this, the better for you. So now I told you, but let's go and I'll show you how to go about getting the appropriate cPanel. So the first thing we need to do here now is to come to this. We have our uh, this is here. Let's look at this our, our dashboard. And the first thing we need to do now that we have come back to our dashboard is to go to this place called appearance. Because we don't have a very good team. That's why our website was looking the way I showed you. Let's go uh, open it again. Our website is looking like this. Because the team that was given to us by WordPress does not impress me. That's not the kind of thing we are looking for. So let's go back. Now the first thing we need to do here now is to hover over this appearance. You can see teams. You can see editor. But let's click on teams. We click on teams. And team has now opened up. You can see that there are three teams dashed to us by WordPress. The first is 2023 team. The one that is active. The one that showed us this uh, this, this is 2023. So the next is uh, 2021. The next is 2022. So if you like, you can activate any of them. This one is already activated. This one you can activate it so that it will replace this. This one you can activate it so that it will replace this. But that's not what we want. So to get what we want, let's click on this add new, add new team. So here now, these other teams will drop down. But what we are looking for, is a website, a team called Astra. Astra. Enter. All right. You can see it now. This is the Astra. This is Astra. You can see it here, Astra. So we want to install this Astra. Install it. Install it. This installing now. Activate it so that it becomes active. Just give it a second. It has now installed this team. This team is now active in our website. For instance, when we go here now, you see how that uh, 2023 team given to us by uh, WordPress was looking. If we refresh it now that we have installed this uh, as well. Let's refresh it and see how the difference it makes. You can see the, the little difference it makes. So there's a difference between what it used to be and what is now. But now let's go here. For us to get going and do our work well, there is something we need to do. You see here now, Astra is telling you, thank you for installing Astra. Did you know Astra comes with dozens of ready to use starter templates? Install the starter templates plugin to get started. So this starter plate is something that will help us move forward very smoothly. So let's get started. Let's install it. Let's get started. It's now, it's now activating it. It's activating it. Let's just watch. It's activating it. You can see it activating it. It's showing up. Okay. So getting started with starter template. 
This is the very beginning of the fastest and busiest website building experience you will ever need. So this is a video explaining how to use this data template. So if you want, you can click the video and watch it. But because I have watched it before, there's no need wasting our time. Now where we are going to is where you said build your website now. So I will click on this build your website now. Now Astra is so magnanimous that they have given us three page builders to select from. You can see it here. The first one is block editor. The second one is elemental. The third one is beaver builder. All of them are page builders. But in my opinion, because I've been using this for a long time, elemental is the best. So we click on elemental. Let Elementor now be installed. Now Elementor is going on being installed. Okay. So now these are templates, free and premium templates through Elementor that they have given us a combination of Elementor and Astra. It's a powerful combination. Elementor is a page builder with which you build your website. Astra is a team builder. They give you a team, the feel of your, your website. It's Astra that gives it. To build on that uh, template, the skeleton that Astra provides, it is the work of Elementor. And these two, the combination is wonderful. You can't miss it. You can't miss the road if you use the two of them. I advise you, if you are serious with building a website, don't miss these two. That means the combination is so powerful. So what do I will do for you is that I will leave the links to these two uh, tools in the description below. They are free. You can sign up with them free. That's the beauty of it. You can sign up with them forever free. However, they have a pro versions. So that once you test the free aspect, you will love to go for the pro. And the fact is that the pro is where the kernel is. The pro is where you will enjoy the full stretch of these two tools, both Astra and Elementor. So if you can afford it, my dear, I advise you, go for the pro immediately. Don't be like me. When I started this business of affiliate marketing, I was always looking for free version of everything. Free version. So everything I see, I was looking for the free version. And you know what? I paid dearly for that uh, wrong decision. Because by the time you want to gather momentum and move in the affiliate district, you can't find what to move with. Because the important items in the, in the tool you're using are hidden in the pro version. So the free version only offers you just like a bet. When you want to catch a fish, the bird will give a fish. That's what the free version does. It just gives you a bird so that you will like it. But if you want to get the full strength and enjoy the benefit of these tools, if you can afford it, please, this time around, go for the pro version. Because the free version will always delay you. It will always drag you back. Get you frustrated. I know a lot of my friends that left the business of affiliate marketing because they couldn't move forward. Why? Because they were always choosing, like me then, always choosing the free version of everything. So, my dear, if you are here listening to me or watching this video, if you can afford it, please go for the pro version. In the same vein, for you to get to this point where we are right now, I told you about the domain registrar in Nigeria here, that is so powerful, so good, so efficient. They are both domain registrar and web hosting. They do both. And to tell you the truth, that's the web hosting I have been using since I started affiliate marketing. I have other websites. I use other uh, international web hosting and the uh, uh, domain registrars. But the fact is that this local listing, you will think that because it is local, it will not measure up. I want to tell you now that, in fact, the name of this uh, company is called Upper Link Limited. 
and to tell you the truth, the rub shoulders with the Oyibo, the, uh, the uh, overseas distance, they are far better than about 90% of the Oyibo web hosting and uh, num, uh, domain registrars. So if I were you, I would try them out. And one thing going for them, one of the big advantages they have is that they, they sell their district in our local currency. So that you don't need to scratch your head, beating your head on how to open up a dollar account, a pound account, a euro account, and this and that. And considering what is going on in the exchange rate in Nigeria today, I think it, that headache will be taken off you if that is somebody that can allow you buy these things in your local currency. And in the other time I told you, I, I showed you one of the domain extensions they sell is as low as 1,200 Naira a year. And if you convert that to dollar, it's not even up to 50, 50 cents in a year. I really wonder how they make their gain. 50 cents in a year host, uh, for a domain name. And their hosting is so cheap. 7,500 naira. The highest I've seen so far, except the, the, the premium distance that you book for yourself. Otherwise, 9,000 is the highest I've seen. And when you combine 9,000 or 7,500 and 1,200, it's not up to 10,000 naira. And how much is 10,000 naira if you convert it to dollars? I really don't, don't know. So, if you want, well, go for it. However, that does not mean you cannot try the Oyibo this thing. Oyibo one, they are good, I'm telling you, that it's not that they are not good. But this local one measures shoulder to shoulder with them. Well, let me not sound so salesy as if I'm selling for them, but the fact is that I have been using them and I have not had any reason whatsoever to complain about them. That's why I'm recommending them for you. I'll still leave the link in the description below. Remember in the last video, I, I left the link in the description. But here, I'll still leave it again. So if you can get these three uh, tools, uh, upper link, uh, Astra, and uh, Elementor, and combine the two of them, my dear, you can't miss the road. You will build a wonderful website. All right, so let's uh, move forward. Now, these are the templates being offered by Elementor. Now, there's a particular template I'm searching for. A friend showed it to me some time ago. I don't know if I can find it easily. Okay, let's look at what we will do. Let's go to this uh, search bar. Let's go to and search. Let's search for accountant. Accountant. Let it uh, accountant. Let's see whether it can come up. Okay. Let's see whether I can find that. Uh... Okay. Aha. That's it. That's it. That's the accountant. That's the one I showed you here. That's the one I showed you here. That is it. That is the one I showed you here. So let's go for it and click on it. Now it's coming up, it's loading to our website. It's loading, it's loading. Why that is loading? You can see the information they have given us here. Say you can choose a logo for your site. You can update, update it anytime later. Upload file here. Don't, you don't have a logo, no problem. You can upload it later. Logo with us. So, so let us allow the listing to come up. Let's allow it to come up. Fine. Now it has come up. This is the website. You understand? Now, we can't do all those things here now because that is not necessary. When you scroll up, you will see where it says, skip doing these things for now. Let's continue. So, I'll click on it. Oh, fine. It has now brought up all these uh, this things. Now, these are colors, preset colors. They have done. These are colors. These are colors, these things here. Now, they give you the option to change the colors if you want. You can change it here. Yeah. Let's see how it will change it. Let's see how it will change it. It's second time. 
is supposed to change it immediately. Mm -hmm. So, okay, it's taken a little more time than expected. This color is supposed to change, but it's not changing. So let's leave it at this, the default colors, so that we can work with this. Now, when you scroll up, you will see all these are fonts. Fonts you can choose. You see all these things now, Joyce Robots, all these things are fonts. So if you don't like them, you want to change them, this is where you will do it. So, but I don't think there's no problem with the, uh, the fonts. So I like them. If you don't like them, you can change them yourself. So let's click here and continue. Now, when you click here and continue, so you see here now. Okay, just one last step. Tell us a little bit about yourself. They are demanding for your name, your work email, your who you are. Well, this is good because they want to, from time to time, send you their newsletters and perhaps adverts. So once you key in all your information here, now they will store it and they will be sending you the necessary material, the newsletters, and if you don't want, you can skip it. I feel this some time ago, but there's no need for it. But where it is important is here. These advanced options. Please pay attention to these advanced options. Make sure you don't uncheck any of them. All these advanced options. Import customer settings. Import widgets. Install required plugins. Import content. Share non-sensitive data. Make sure you don't uncheck. And when you have, make sure you have not unchecked any. Say submit and build my website. So let's see what is going on now. You can see that it has started uploading, uploading all the information in that website to our own. And once it finishes now, it becomes our own. If we want to edit it, fine. If we don't want, we can leave it there and claim it is our own. But how would we not edit it? Because that one is common to the entire world. So we want to make it look in our, our own, in a unique way. So you can see it is now uploading it 90%, 100%. It's now done. So let it, wow. You can see what is happening here. Wow, they are celebrating us. You can see the, all this is a celebration. So here now is a video that will help you understand how to do your website. If you like, you can click it and watch it. But here, where we are going to is to click on view your website. So let's view our website. Okay. This is now the website, the Almighty website. It has come up. So if we don't want to go any further, we can now leave it at this point that this is our website. You see it here. Look at it. Soccer.topsmartaffiliate.com. This is now our website. You can see what is happening here. It's our website. Alright, so now that we have come to this point, the logo is supposed to show here. Let me refresh it. Let me refresh it because the logo is supposed to come here. Let me refresh it. It's our website, so I can refresh it. If it refuses to come, it must come later. So, this is now our website. When you click on this, my blog, you now, let's click on this dashboard. Dashboard. We are now going to the back end of our own website. We are going there now. Now, you can see here, we have come to the back, back end of our website. This is the WordPress uh, uh, that we installed. Now, what we need to do here now, as we have come here, let's go to this Astra and click on Astra. Either we click on it so that it will expand here, or we click here and go to Dashboard. Dashboard. So let Astra open up the Dashboard. Astra is opening up the Dashboard. So now let's wait for it to load. All right. So now, Astra has now worked on that. You can see my name. Hello, Sam, Sam Chidebele. As for this and this and that, it's now telling you to start customizing. When you scroll down, let this, this video here, 
if the door that you see coming up is supposed to guide you on what next to do. It's supposed to guide you. But since I am the one in the pilot seat right now, let me take you, instead of watching the video, let me take you on. When you scroll down, you will see what you call quick settings. You have what you call site identity. You cannot customize it. Header builder, you can customize it. Footer builder, you can customize it. Um, color, you can customize it. Typography, you can customize it. Button, blog options, layouts, menus, all of them. Now, when you come to this right hand side, you can see here now, see my cursor moving up and down. Now, they are giving you other plugins that will help you build your website faster. Now, the, it's showing you here that the starter template has already been activated. Of course, we have activated it. Now, there is another one here called Spectra. Spectra is another page builder, as good as uh, Elementor. But personally, I prefer Elementor. Maybe someday, sometime, I'll do a video on Spectra, how efficient and so, how wonderful it is. So, you may decide to choose Spectra instead of Elementor. But for me, Elementor is preferable. Now you have what is called shortcut here in case you are in WooCommerce business. That is, you, you, you sell some things in your website. And you plug in that will help you organize your business. So that people will want to click to buy, the whole thing will populate in the cart. And then it will sum up and people will pay. If you are, if you want to automate your WordPress website, this is called short triggers. It helps you do your automation faster in your business. So, but we are not talking about this place now. We are, we are okay with the starter templates. So here now, let's start what they are asking us to do. The first thing they want us to do is to and see what will happen. All right. So now, this is, this is our, the front page of our website. And what we are here to do here now is to customize the site identity. It's supposed to bring it up. Let's see. If it doesn't, we will take it from here. We will take it from here because that is the identity he wants us to customize. All right. It has done it. So now you can see from here. The first thing it has thrown out for to us is select site icon. So what is site icon? Site icon is also known as favicon. Now let me show you what favicon means. If you go here now on this designer, this, this thing that looks like a with color, gradient color, is a favicon. If you go to this YouTube, this one here now is a favicon. So the, we now want to make our own, look, have a favicon too. This is our website now, but it doesn't have a favicon. That's why you're seeing all these things. So let's click on this site icon. All right. So far, we don't have any images. We don't have any media because this is fresh, new. So the best we can do now is to go and look for image that we can put here. So now I have some images I have done before. Let me see if I can find them. This is a transparent image that I created. So let's see if we can use it. Let's use it to make our own image. Let's use it. This is it. So let's drag it and put it here. Let's drag it and put it here. Oh no, this is this is not a favicon. So we'll still repeat what we did. It's not a favicon. So we'll go back and upload. So we we'll look for favicon. Now this is the favicon I created. This one. Now before I go further, I want you to know that favicon, the size of a, a favicon should not be more than 300 by 300 pixels. Make sure that your favicon, when you create one, let it not pass 300 by 300. Otherwise, it will be overweight and oversized. And uh, these people may, uh, they may not accept 
accept it, except they have copied it. So now this is my own. I want to now bring it to, let's see, that, this is it. Let me drag it and bring it here. This is the fabric. All right. Now, one thing you should note going forward, once you have an image or even a video, that's what, what we call optimization. Optimize your image. Optimizing means you can now give this image a title, something that it should be known for, so that the search engine will pick it up. So here now, remember our web uh, sub domain here is soccer soccer dot top smart affiliates we can leave it top soccer adopt top smart affiliates so we can now copy this thing copy it control c and come to alternate test and paste it once we have done that we have now optimized it this alternate test we can now select it now it's asking you whether it to crop it but because my own is exactly 300 by 300 that's nothing to crop if your own is over maybe up to this point and up to this point it can only take this size that's why you need to make your uh, favicon 300 by 300 your logo can be 500 by 500 or 500 by 150 or 500 by this is that at least favicon should be a square 300 by 300 i will not tell you to skip cropping now you can see it it has come here it has come here Don't look at this place you can see the favicon is now we are now known with this favicon anywhere you see this thing in the world now that means this thing belongs to soccer.topsmartapple.com so let's now check the it says site title and logo settings let's click on it okay so it has now brought up the look this is the logo this is the logo so here now it has brought the this and this is the message it is giving us the logo on this paper on this page is set from the transparent header session please click the link below to customize transparent header logo so if you don't click here now and you go ahead and change the logo here it will not populate it will not come up here it will not pick it because this logo is hanging on a transparent system transparent means that this logo now is hanging on this blue background it doesn't have any color background of its own all these things now these are many navigation men they don't they are hanging on this blue background so for that our logo to come up we have to now click here if we do it here we will be making a mistake we have to repeat it so let's click here let's click here and uh, let it open up let it open up all right it has now opened up now you can see that logo here you can hardly see it because it's transparent that's why it's white it's transparent that's why you're seeing it here However, before we click there, there's something here it says enable on complete website. So if you want your logo and all this uh, menu to appear on necessary pages of your website, not only on this home page, then toggle this one on. You can see it now, it has come up and it's now telling you disable on blog page. Now, this is not a blog page, but because I promised you that we are going to see how we can convert this website to a blog page. That's why we will now say this one. If we say disable, if we say on now, it will disable it on uh, on web page. But we want this thing to appear on our web page so that people can be able to navigate um, back and forth. So this one says disable on latest post. No letter post is still important to us, so we are not going to. I don't want it to go there, so I'll bring it here, so that all these things will be appearing on our pages. Now, when you scroll down, you see, say, enable it on 
If you don't want it to show on mobile, you can only click this desktop. If you don't want to show on desktop, you can check uh, this mobile. But if you want the, the whole thing to show on both desktop and mobile, it's already checked, it's already selected. So here now you say different logo for transparent. If you click this one, now that means you will now go and create a different logo or, uh, other than what is here. So that what we what is here now is what we want to change. So let's click on this change image. Let me change image. Now, because I have already uploaded this image, you remember when I said I made a mistake, instead of uploading this, I uploaded this. So this is my logo, and it's transparent. You cannot see it now because it's on a white background. But let's choose it. Now, remember what I told you. Always remember. This is soccer the top smart affiliates so that's where we want to leave it i don't want to put that com so we we'll say control c and come here and paste it now we say choose image so let's see what happens on this place let's see it's not trying to overwrite it it's overwriting it all right you can see it now you can see what is here now this is my own work this is my own logo you now can go and create your own transparent logo you can go to maybe canva.com or some other apps that allow you to create logos I created a transparent logo so that it can hang on this uh, blue distance. Here, here now. That's why I created transparent logo. And because we called our own soccer dot, that's why I called this, uh, my logo, soccer coach. You can see it here. So now that is done. Now we can publish it. And now this is the, for this you can see here now this is designed for a laptop or, a, or a desktop but let's see how this logo will look on uh, tablet let's see let's see how it will look on tablet okay this is how it will look as far as i'm concerned this is okay it's all right i have no problem with that let's look at how it will do on unfortunately we cannot see what is happening here because of this here now this thing here has blocked our scrolling up and down that thing is supposed to be up 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 there so i can't see it but my experience shows me that we can reduce it here logo width we can make it 70 or 80 i don't know so when we try it with our mobile phone later on we will check whether the size is okay or it is over or small if it is over or small we can always come back and adjust it here so now we have done that of we have done that of a logo all right so now the next thing we need to edit or customize since we are here now you can, when you look at here now where we have done work now is this site title and logo by the way sorry i forgot something before we move out of it let's scroll down a little okay that's good so now this is our site title remember before when we clicked for instance where is that our our control this thing when you come here now what you see is my blog that's what the uh, website uh what was called our uh, this we now want to do something about it and we don't want it to be my blog so i want to say that our, our title is soccer coach soccer soccer coach 
That's our title. And we can copy the same title and make it our tagline. This tagline is very important. Of course, this is what Google and Bing and other search engines will pick to do, showcase your website to the world. So it's important. So we we'll click and we we'll now paste so that the tally. Now when we publish here now, when we publish here, I will now go to this our control this thing and refresh it. And refresh it. Let's see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. Can you see with the magic? Now this thing now has come out full. And when you look at here now, where you used to be my blog, it's now soccer coach. So we now we are now known for being soccer coach. So let's go on with our customization. So now that we have done that, we can now go back and customize this place called primary menu. This is the menu. This is the menu. All this thing you see here now is the menu called navigation now navigation menu. So from here now you can go to this old place go to here go to here go to here now we want to configure it or edit it you say here now this is the primary menu we can do something about it here now when you uh, hover over it it, the, it becomes brighter the uh, the white becomes bigger and brighter it has been done that way but we can still make it better by going to this design Let's go to this design. Now we are on this design. If we, now there are some things we can do here. If we go to this menu hover style, when you hover over it, what we can see here now is only brightening up. Then we can do something additional. If you say zoom, if we say zoom in, that means by the time when you come here, it will be like it will expand. It will expand like a zooming in, expanding. But we don't, so to save time, let's look at what if we underline it. What will it look like? How will it look like? Let's just see what will happen. We have to publish it first. Now we have done underlining. We have to publish it first. And, uh, Okay, it will take some time here. Let's go to our normal paste. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Okay. You can now see the underlining. You can see it. You can see it. So we have now done giving it an underlying this thing. Now this is this place now there's no sub menu to any one of them there's no sub menu so but if we create a sub menu that's what what you see here sub menu and there's a divider a sub menu divider so now we have not created even if i create it now you will not see it but to save time let's say this divider we increase it to two it will show later and the divider color. Let's choose a color that we can use. Maybe we can use a, something like this. Okay. We can look it at this. It's a divider color. Offset means that by the time we put this thing, we put a sub uh, menus here now. If it is like this, it may reach out to here, so we may as well reduce it a little. For now. For now, maybe we we'll still can come back to it later. Now, on this <coughs> submenu animation, we can <coughs> either slide up, slide down, or fed. <coughs> slide down means once you click, it drops down, or it, do, it does like it's going up. So each one of them, 
we can use Fed so that when you uh, just would behave like a twinkling twinkling little star. So let's just put that one here. And now we are looking at border width. Border means like here now, this thing you'll see this white something is a border. But we are talking of a border maybe in any of the this is not a menu. This is a button. We will soon come to that. But we are, we are talking about the menu here. So border with women, just say, let the border be two so that we can be able to not, uh, notice it. And what would the border color be? That border, something that we here now, the border color here is white. You can see it is white. But what do we want that border color that will come? Let's just pick something different. Let's again pick yellow and see. Uh, rather, this is uh, more of orange. So, we can leave it at that. Border radius. When we come to that point, we will not talk of radius. Radius means how it will curve or become round or square or something. So, now we can leave that there. Now we need to do here. This is menu color. Here now, what we are seeing is white, 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 white. There's no problem. I don't have any problem with it. But the only thing is that because this is transparent, whatever happens here now, we may not be able to see the distance because it will be all white. So let's give a background to uh, this thing to make it a little bit separate so that going forward, we will be able to identify where these things are. So when you come here now and say normal, let's look at a background that will look good because it is blue let's look at something that may make me okay um all right okay i think it's okay like this so that it's not it's not shouting too much you can see it so it's okay as far as i'm concerned you like you can make your own anyhow now border for menu font this is the font all these things characters they are the fonts so maybe we can make it a little bolder or something so when we click here when we click here let it come up. so now this is the menu but if we don't want this if we want to change it to another character or something we can do that but where I am going to now, if you can, if you want to change your character, this is where you will do it. When you click here, it will bring other, like, this is it now. You can see other, these are various, there are so many. You can choose any one of them, but that's not where I'm going to. So I'm talking of the weight to make this look a little bit heavier. That's why I want to click here. I'm clicking here now. So let's look at the way. So you can see very thin. If you want to make it very thin, want to make it extra light, this and that. If you want to make it bold, for instance, semi bold, let's click it and see what will happen if we make it semi bold. You can see that it has become a little bigger. We can now leave it at that. If we want to increase the size, this is where you will increase the size. For instance, if you increase the size here now, you can see how it is. It has gone too wide, so big. If you make it come like this, it will become too small. You can see it is now too small. But we can return it to the original list. And I think the original list is okay. This original size is okay. So if you want to change the font, the font uh, list and how it is styled, you can change it here. But I don't think that is necessary. So we can publish this. We can publish it. So you can see now. Later on, when we create a sub menu, you will see what will happen here. But for now, we have not created anything like that. So now, this is a button. This You can see this button here. This is the button. We can as well customize it instead of going up and down. We can click on this button. 
click on that on the button. Let it come up here. All right. The button is come up. And you, what you see here is get a quote. And this is where you see that get a quote. But we are a soccer this thing. So what is likely to come to as a soccer uh, coach is book a call. Let's say book a call instead of get a, co a quote. So we we'll say book a call. Book a call. Fine. You can now see it. Book a call. We have changed it. So now, when you click here, now it's going nowhere. Look at why it will not go anywhere. Because there's no link. It's not linked to anything. But if we now want to link it to something, look at what we'll do. Let's go to this, our normal website. Let's go to here. When you get here, now you are supposed to go to contact. Contact is where you see the telephone number if you want to call us if you want to call me for business that's where you will get it it's in contact for instance now you see what we did before the benefit of what we did the other side with this thing that we are seeing now so that wherever we are we can see this thing clearly so now this is the contact when you scroll down you can see telephone numbers you can see address you can see email this thing and all the rest of them. So, we we'll now copy this contact, the URL, and come back to this our listing, and cover this hash and the contacts, so that whenever anybody comes here and clicks here, he will be taken to the contact listing, and he will get in touch. Now we have done that. Now, maybe we should give here a little, a pronounced this, because this is the business we are into. So, we have to make here a little bit pronounced. We can do that by coming here, design. This design. So now, you can see the test color is this. I have no problem with that. But we, let's change the background color a little bit. Let's change the background color a little bit. This is the hover. If it say here, it's the hover color of the background. But let's give the normal thing because you can see that it's still, because it's transparent, it's not showing anything. It's still hanging on this view. So let's click on this color. And uh, we can't go too far away from the blue. We can't go too far away. We can only something deeper so you can see now it's deeper and the, this thing is now more pronounced and shouting it now attracts attention so now we have done that if we like we can make the radius a little bit more roundish but that is not necessary we can add pattern if we want margin and this and so those words are not necessary so now we have done this, you can now see that once you come here, it's more pronounced. So we have done this one. Let's now exit here. Exit here. Okay. So now that we have done those ones, we will now go back to our... Here, we have done this now. We have done this. What we need to do now is to customize the, the, the footer. Let me tell you, show you what footer means. Now let's go here. Go to the. Okay, so now let's go down to this place. Look at the footer. This place now is the footer, and you can see the the footer. This thing now because we have changed our tagline, our um, this thing to soccer t coach. That's why we called our uh, website soccer coach. That's why it has taken it. It has taken it. Why? Because we have taken it. So. 
if we had not taken it, it is now time we would have come to change or to customize it. Let me show you how it would have been done. If we had come here and say, here, customize the footer. Customize the footer. Okay. Now, it's now it will now show us where the ones have to customize on that footer. You can see that our website is now coming on gradually. So this is the footer. This is the footer. This is the footer. Now if we click here, this is where it said copyright. Look at where that copyright is. Here. Copyright at this video. The other HTML this HTML is here. This is the HTML. So we're not going to bother ourselves since it has already picked the uh, the it has already customized itself. But where we are going to do some work later on is here. This place. We cannot customize it through what we are doing. We can only customize this place with uh, Elementor. So we'll do that one later. So now our website is taking shape. Let's go back and let's go back. Now remember I told you that for you to understand what we are doing about this website we are developing now. We call this soccer.talksmartaffiliate.com For you to understand it you must go back and watch our previous video how to create multiple websites from one domain you can create up to 10 websites or more from one domain now what we're doing now we are developing this soccer.topsmartaffiliate.com into a full website after doing that we can still go back maybe there is another business we want to open now the best we can do is go to my channel Go to this channel. This is my channel. This is Smart Affiliates. So go here. You can see the address here. Once you click youtube.com slash at Smart Affiliates 247, it will bring you here. It will bring you here. You can see my address here. It will bring you here. And when you come here, this is the video you need to watch where I say how to create multiple websites from one domain just click here click it and it will open for you you will now watch and see how we now came about this soccer.topsmartaffiliate.com uh, uh, it is by your coming here and seeing what we did here that you can now understand what we are talking about and for you to know when we now do the next video, a follow-up to this video we are doing today, my dear, what you need to do is to come here and subscribe. Better subscribe. That's the only way. That's the only way you can get notified that I have uploaded the next video. Meanwhile, let's continue. So now, we have come to this point that we have done uh, our customization we are now up to this level we are now up to this level so now there's no need taking so much of our time we will now go into now you know that where we are now this is a home page this is about this is the year. now what we are seeing here now still belongs to this person you can see this person. This is her name. But we need to change this person and change this name and change all these things here. For instance, he said what I do is now told us that he, her own is accounting services and our own is not accounting. And she said tax services. Our own is not tax. And she said financial. It's not our own is not financial. So we need to create pages. For instance, another page bearing something like this another page and another page making so that you see where you put here read more read more means that when you click here it should take you to that page so that you can now read all this information 
So we will create pages. I don't know whether we want to create that pages first before coming. I think we may need to do that. Uh, do we? Okay. On the only way, let's go here first. Let's go here and they did this place. We want to do so. The best thing now we need to do is to edit this home page. We need to edit this home page with Elementor. Remember, we installed Elementor, and I told you that the combination of Astra and the Elementor is so powerful. It makes the creation of your website a breeze, so easy. So we can now edit. And remember, I'm not insisting that you must go and uh, uh, buy your domain from upper link or let them host your this thing. But any do any uh, hosting provider that gives you uh, a very good uh, uh, C panel will definitely give you the opportunity to do what we are doing here now. But if you want to at least save yourself the headache of opening a, a foreign account, dollar account, this and that, go with them. So here now, let's click on this place. We can either click on footer. If we click on footer now, what it means is that we are coming here direct, here, to edit here. But I think it would be wise for us to edit this place first. And then we can come back and do other ones. So let's click here and edit this uh, page. So I am clicking here. I'm clicking here. Let it take us to uh, um, Elementor. Let it take us to Elementor. All right, so this is Elementor now. This is the page that we need to edit. Now, before we start doing something, you can see in this, in this place you see my cursor now. It's where you have the handles for Elementor. And here now signifies that you can see that when I point at this place, it says a this session. This place now is a, a session. But for us to expand the handles, look at what we want to do. Go to these three lines, click on user preferences. You see the editing handles, expand it, click it on, and update. Update it. So now, With this updated, it now means that let's let me show you what it will, how it will happen. You can now see that it has now expanded it. It's no longer three, but it's now four. So with this now, here now you can add another session. Here you can edit this session. Here you can duplicate this session. Here you can delete this session completely, and. Under this session now, what you can see here now is this is this place now is called uh, uh, a column. This is a column. This place is a column. This place we saw this lady is another column. This one is still what is wrong with you? So this is another column. Here is a column. Here is a session inside a column. Here is a session again. These are this, this session ended with this place. Ended with this place. So now here now is another session. When you click here now you can see this thing. This is that this white place now with this information accounting this and that. These are sessions. So when it finishes coming up now, these are images. They will come up. Now this is another session can see it. It's another session. So this place now is, you can see columns. You can see columns. So these are now, we now will start editing this place. So here now the first thing we need to do is to edit this session. But since the, we are not, our interest is not in 
changing all these colors. Our interest is here and here. So what we need to do now is, first of all, we want to uh, Joyce Roberts because that's not our name. Remember what we did the last time, the, in the last video. We called the name of the person we chose. We called it Chris Canon. So let's click here now. Click here. And you can see this Joyce Roberts has come up here. As pre, uh, so we want to change this thing to Chris Canon. Let's say Chris Canon. Mom. This canon is the soccer coach. Now what does this canon do? Look at what this person said here. This canon is, is practical financial. We can now edit this place and say practical soccer soccer uh, soccer training for instance. You can rely on. You can. You can trust or something like that. So soccer training, you can trust. It has now become our own. So now we can only really change here. Yeah, now this is white. This is white. Why don't we now change this place car? Make it our own, unique somehow. Let's go to style. Style. So the test color here is white. You can see test color. You can see this thing it shows white. F F F F F F is white. But we can change it to something else. Let's just say we change it to um, to something like this. We can change it to something like this. Yes. What is wrong? We can go with that. I say okay, that's the name we want to call it. And now, here now, we can leave this at white, or we can give it another color. But maybe we can leave it like this. Like this. Now it says here, look at what it says here. We can now see if we can modify it. Invest your time and efforts on running your business. So let's just say invest your time and efforts on running your other businesses. Let's say other other businesses. And say then leave the training to me. Leave the training. Training to me. I think it makes sense. Leave the training to me. Now, what's that? Practical soccer training you can trust. And so on. Now, here now, you can see, see this is get a quote. And we called our own. Book a call. So, this is a button. So, we can, once you see this small, um, slanted arrow. It shows that you can edit it. So click on this edit. You can now see what it says here. Look at it. So we can change this thing to book a call. And this book a call, remember what we did the last time. This book a call, we want to connect it to our we can connect this this one to visit a site. Visit a site or a site. So okay. So remember what we did before. We clicked on this contact and copied the URL. So we can do the same. Come here and say now. Book a call, we can now first this call as well. Alright, so now if you look at here, this thing is white, the normal this thing is white. So, what if we now change the color to match this one? We can change the color. 
since we are on that day, so we can come here and say normal color. So the normal color here, test color, background color is this. This is the color. So we can click here now and say we don't want we want it to be yellow. We want it to be yellow. And we we'll click out. So that it kind of matches this one. This one we can also do the same. We can do the same. Change whatever that is here if we want. This is where we'll change it. And come here and cover it up. Maybe this time we'll say about. Let's just say about. Go to about. But that's where you get the permission about. Here now we'll copy this. And come back here and paste it. Paste it. We can either redesign it or we can leave it as it is. It's okay. Here you can do the same. Once you come here, once you come here, you can see this one, trusted, which is here. This is experience, which is here. This is professional, which is here. So if you want to change them, anyone you want to change, once you click here, now it will expand. You cannot change whatever you want to change here. So let's move forward. So now, this is the next session. This is session. Assuming you don't like this white. You don't like this one. You want it to be a little, maybe bluish, a little. What you need to do is to come here. This is the session. Now go to style. Go to style. This is style. Now you go to color. Here now it shows that there is no color, it's white. But we can click on this thing, come here, and maybe go here. Maybe the color, maybe a little. Or if we come here, it's heavy. We can now reduce the opacity. This, we can bring this thing here, bring it here. Bring it here so that it looks more like white. It's not entirely white. Okay, we can leave it like this. It's not entirely white. It's not. So we can click out. So that's the way you can do it. Now, here now it says what I can do. Remember, once you want to do that, there's always how you want to do it now this this place now we have clicked it says services if you want this place to be bigger than what is here look at what you do this one is h6 that means it's quite small if you want it to be h3 for instance it becomes bigger and when you come here now you come here now now what i do this one is h2 you may make it h5 becomes smaller or rather four okay four h4 it becomes smaller you can now click here click here and come here and edit whatever you want to edit you can now write whatever you want to write depending on the business you are doing you want to tell people this is what i do do this patronize me and it, it, this is where you will do it this is the place now, when you come here, I told you we are going to create uh, uh, pages. This is the first page this person is talking about. We call it accounting services. Maybe our own, we can call here now. Click here. And so we don't want to call it accounting services. We want to call it soccer services. Soccer. Soccer services. It's now soccer services. And you can now give a description of what soccer services mean. This is where you will now write it. You can start anything. Then 
uh, newbies to be professionals in no time. Something like that. You cannot delete the rest of them. You now you, have, you can delete them if you want. So that you have done something. Now what you need to do here, this image represents accounting. You can see somebody calculating. Our own is about soccer, for instance. We we'll click on this image. So that the image will come up. You want to change it. This is the image. So we can click on this image and go to our um, pictures or images. See whether we can look get anything that looks like football. Let's see if we can see anything that looks like football here. Yeah? Anything that looks like football. Uh, nothing here. Okay, let's look at here. Let's look at this place. Okay, this is like football. And now, what we have to do is to look at that football, okay? Here, we now say upload. And drag this football to this place. And once it does that, we can now optimize it by writing our normal soccer, soccer dot top smart affiliates dot com or affiliates. We can copy it. Copy C and paste it here and say select. Is selected so now this shows about soccer the same thing happens here our own here may not be taxed uh, we are going to create maybe an, a, a page called maybe what do we call it we call it personal training personal training And you can now find something to explain what you mean by personal training. And you come here again and say this image is not ours. We need to change it. And what do you do? We come here. I will now say upload. And look for an image that shows look at an image that shows personal training. I have uh, somewhere that I put image. And this is where I put image that looks like personal training. So let's look at this image and drag it to this place. Drag it and as usual optimize it. Optimize it. Optimize it. I say no no no. This one is not the soccer dot top smart affiliates and we we'll copy it we we'll copy it and paste it here and say select okay this shows somebody training we can do the same here you have, you have already known how to do that. You can do the same thing. You can come here and change the image. Change the, the topic here to something else. You can call it club fixing or something like that. The same thing happens here. You can come here and now change the information here. Why choose me? It's a good topic, but you can say why you must come my way. Why you must trust me. Why this and that. That is the message here. And you not say, this is what makes you different. Accurate record keeping. Your own is professional training, whatever. And now when you come here, the same thing happens. We don't have to be going up and down doing the same. So here now, when you want to uh, do um, customize here, 
you can see that there's an icon here. I assume you want to change this icon. Let's say you come here and click on it. Look at the icon. It is good for this, but you don't like it. You can now hover, place, hover over this thing and you see the, what is called icon library. You can pick it and look for something that resonates with you. Or, or, that person is talking about time, so we can click here and say insert. You have taken it. You can click here. Now this place now you can see where you say this is a circle. Now what you put here is always on time. You can now come here and change whatever you want to change. This message here says um, this are, this is it here. Now you have done something like that. Now, let's just say, for instance, you want to make this place unique. What do you do? You come here and look at this. Uh, this is a column. You click on this column. You can see it here, column. Now, go to style. Go to style. Now, you can see column. There's no color. What is here is white. You can decide to change it to... Maybe let's say uh, here. Change it to this if you want, or make it lighter if you want. And uh, we click out. So it has taken this. If you feel this is not too bright, you can't go, keep going up and down. You can click here again and go to where? Where is it here? Um, this is it this place. You can now go here and change the color, but I'm not going to keep going up and down. You can change the color here. The same thing happens here, the same thing happens here. If you now want to do the same thing over and over again, what you need to do, you don't need to go doing it one by one. You can come here and right click, right click and say copy, and come here again right click and say paste style it changes the color immediately you do the same here right click paste style it changes the color immediately so you can do that easily anyhow anyway so the same thing happens here you can do the same thing here click here it will appear here click here it will appear here the same thing happens here click here it will appear here the same thing you can change all these things now the most important thing that we are now going to do is that despite all that we have done, this lady is still here. We don't know who she is. So we want to uh, change this lady to our own. We have somebody we call Piscanon. So we will change this lady to represent Piscanon as a soccer person, as a soccer coach. So how do we do it? You can see that this lady, why it is fitting in here and anywhere is because She's on a transparent background. There's no color. There's no image, nothing at her background is transparent. So that's why she can fit in here. So how do you do it? Click on this lady. You can see the image here. So we click on this image. Now, when we come here now, we don't have anybody. So what we need to do now is to say upload. Now we look for an image that we will use. Let's look for an image that we we'll use. Now, I want you to know one thing. The image that I will use now is no magic. If you want to get images, if you don't want to use your own image, you want to use uh, images from the... You can go to this place called pixels.com. They are free, copyright free. You can get many images that you can get copyright free. Once you come here, you can search anything. You can search, for instance, coach. You can search coach. And it will bring up the photographs or images of people called coach and all the rest of them. You may bring you all these things. I assume these are coach or something. You can bring this uh, image now, copy it. Once you click on it, you will now see where it, it tells you free to copy. You can copy it. You see here now. How this is? Let's just say any one of these people. Uh, this one is a coach. You can copy it. I don't need to. 
but I want to show you where you can get that. If you don't get enough from here, you can go to Unsplash. Unsplash.com. You can go to Unsplash.com. They also give you beautiful images. The same thing happens. You can come here, here now. You can come here and type whatever. You can type, let's just say the same coach and do the same thing so there's no need for that you can now you know where to get it now when you have da up, uh, downloaded an image definitely the image has a background so you don't want to use the image with a background on this kind of thing we are doing so what do you do let's let me show you what to do here now for instance this person now has a background look at the simplest way you can uh, solve your problem Look at the simplest way. Come to this website called remove.bg. Enter. Okay, so now this is remove.bg. Now let's take this image I have here. This image. I've highlighted and let's look for that image. All right. Now, if we drag this image and place it here, you can see the background. But see what will happen shortly after now. Fine. Immediately, the background is removed. What you see now is this person totally. So that's the way I got the image, image that I will use in this. Uh, okay. The image I will use is this one. So let's go back to our, let's go back to, so let's go back to our, uh, select image. Let's pick it. Okay. So the image is here. And as usual, remember, you must always optimize. Soccer dot stop smart affiliates. Remember always to optimize your images. So I say copy and press here. And now say select. See what will happen. Stretch. You can see what has happened. Now this lady now. It's our crystal now. Now, when you go here, we have changed all these ones. We have changed all these. We can continue changing the rest. You can change these ones. You can change these ones. You can change all these ones. We have done that. Now, this lady is still the one here. So, what do we do? We click on this image again. We click on the image. And click here then. Already we have our image here, so we don't need to try to have optimize it already. Set, select. Voila, it's done. Now, this is where you say contact. And you remember our own case, we have always said book a call. So it says here free estimation. We can do something like this and say look at the free estimation. We can say want. want to get in touch, I will come here now and say book a call. Book a call. Now, this is the book a call, and if you look at this form that it put here for contact and the is to uh, the form is good but there are some information that is not necessary here for instance the number of employees number of incoming invoices number of outgoing invoices i don't think this is necessary so we need to do something about it so let's customize it now look at what it says need to make changes edit the selected form so this is where we need to edit the selected form if you come here, you're adding a fresh form. That's not what we want to look at. 
So we we'll click here. You do not bring up this. Okay, so it has now brought up the form. Now when you look at this left hand side, it, this is the items field. This is the item field. Most of the things you see here came from here. So if you want to add, these are the things that were added here. If you want more field options, when you click here now, if you want to add more, you click here, it will bring out more things that you add. But what is here now is the field options. These are the field options and these are the things here. So in order not to waste too much time, let's go here and look at those things that we don't like. For instance, it's a number of outgoing invoices. But I don't want to, it doesn't uh, make any meaning to me. So we click on this red uh, basket here. I say, here. You say, are you sure you want to delete this field? I say, okay. So it deletes that one. The same thing happens, number of incoming invoices, I click delete. Okay. Number of employees, I click delete. Okay. Now, telephone, yes, telephone is necessary. Uh, this, this, uh, these are necessary. In name, this and that. Now, it says here, book a, uh, uh, get a free code. Our own is book a code. So we can't leave it at book a code. We click on it. And we now see the message here. And when we go down, we see where it said, get a free code. Our own is book a code. A call and what is the when the person clicks on it what is the message you want to see either you say send them or some people will say wait a minute or just give us a second and it will just be until the message comes up so we have seen this if you now want to know if um, the message after sending this look at what will happen this is the confirmation message once you have clicked send or submit this is what will come Thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. If you don't want this, you can click here and edit. If this notification is where the mail, the notification will come, of course you have your admin email. Remember what uh, the admin email we created in our C panel when we were creating this subdomain. So th that admin email will come here. The subject line is inquiry. You can see where you put it here, inquiry. Or you can change the inquiry to something else. You can change it to whatever. You can change from name. This one is say from accountant. Our own now will be from coach. You can uh, the email this and that. These things are already here. So once you finish changing all these things, you say save. Let's save it a second time to be sure. And you now click out. And it will now turn. It will turn this thing around. So you can see it now. It has shortened it. That's okay. So now, what we need to do now is to see what else can we do. Now the next thing for us to do now is to edit here. But we can't edit it directly from what we are doing. So we may need to go back to our website and click on Elementor to bring us back to the footer so that we can edit that. So let's do that. What we have done, let's update it. Always remember to update. That means to save. Otherwise, what we have done so far will just be wasted. So we say exit. We say where do you want to exit to the post or to where? We can say to the dashboard. We can say to the dashboard. We can change it later. We say we do it. Um, okay. So now we can now go go back to the dashboard. So now we are back to our dashboard and the best thing we can do now is to go to our site again so that we going to our site. This is our own this can now co the coach. This is now what we do. This is the business we are doing. We have seen it all now. 
So what we want to do now is to edit this place. I'm not going to waste time doing this, but I'll show you one or two things because our time is faster. Now, when you ho hover over this edit with Elementor, you can see these three things. Items, footer, site settings, team builder. Our interest is on the footer. So we click on footer. And footer. Let it come up. So it will bring us to the footer end of the website. All right, it has brought us to the footer. So now, as usual, what is supposed to be here is our. Let me show you what is supposed to be here. It's our. What do you call it? What is supposed to be here is our logo. And we have already put our logo here. We can select it. That's it. That's the logo. You cannot change whatever you want on this thing. Maybe telling people why you created this website. This website was created in response to call from millions of people for me to develop this and this and that. You can do the same here. Say here now. You can say you don't want it uh, uh, info. You can say details. You can say details. In, in case you want to down. You can say details. And now this is your address. When you come here now, you can see the address. You can change it from here. You understand? Look at where you change it. You can change it from here. And start writing. Maybe now. Let me say. You come here and say 25. 5th Avenue. West Park. Town. And as you are doing it, you can be seeing what is happening here. So, this is a break. You can now say, this is not New York. This is, this is, this is Lagos. And you can now say, Nigeria. This is United States. So, our own is Nigeria. You cannot be in the United States. United States. You can now go further. There is where you will now see the telephone numbers of this person. You can change it. Click here and start changing it. Change it to your own. You can see the icon here, which is here. Here now. Is where you see the you can see the contact person. You can now click here and add your own, add your own um, uh, email address, your contact address. You write it here and put it here. Okay. So the same thing happens here. The same thing happens here. Here now is where you have the social icons. For now, when you come here, and you can see Facebook, uh, Twitter. Is, uh, what is the LinkedIn and uh, whatever? So now, when you come here now, what you need this thing to your web, you click here. This is design. What you need to do now is to come here and write your own Facebook uh, account. Maybe it's fa Facebook slash whatever your name is, and then and so on. Now, do the same with all this. Thing. Assuming you still want to add another a social icon you can now come here and say add and this one now has come it says what person that's not what you're looking for what you now do is to hover over you so that this icon will come when this icon comes it will show you this you can now type you youtube you can see it now and now you say insert and once it is inserted, you can now come here and link it up, your own YouTube address. You can link it up here. That means you now have all these things. You can, you can play around with all, 
both the color and the size and all the way. For instance, if you want to increase the size, let's not, uh, well, this one is in circle form. If you want it to be a square form, for instance, you can put it like this. And if you want to all do other things, you can you can play around with what is here so that you don't waste so much time. So you can do that. You can do this. You can change this one now. For instance, we said uh, here that we are going to do this one is not accounting. This one is rather soccer services. For instance, we put here soccer services. Soccer. Soccer services. Soccer services and so on. You can change the rest. You can change them. You can change them. Now, if you don't like this color, you don't like this color, and you want to change it, you can hover over here to the in this session. Go to style. Go to style. You see background color. You see background color. You can see the background color here. So, because we are using blue, let's just say we now can use deeper blue deeper blue that's all right let's not waste time so it has changed now what do you do you update it so once it's updated you can now go back by clicking here and say exit so now we have finished editing the front the home page I finish editing the home page. So now what we want to do now, let's see what the home page looks like now. After all the, our efforts. Now this is the home page. This is our website. This is the home page. This is our home page. We have created it this way now. This is our home page. Now I remember telling you that we are going to create two more pages or one page. So that we can see what happens here to make it a sub menu. So let's do that quickly. What do we do? We can go to here now. Go to at the dashboard. Go to dashboard. Go to dashboard. Go to pages. Go to pages. You can now say create new, new page, create new page, let it come up, new page, alright, so this is the new page, so we are here now, what we want to create now is soccer services as a page, soccer services before we hit publish remember always when you're creating a new page for the uh, this thing, use come here to this uh, template click on default destiny to bring this uh, template defined even click here to select element of full weight now that we have selected element of full weight publish and publish now that we have published, we can now um, edit this uh, page, either with this kit or with Elementor. So let's try this kit first. Let's try it. You can now see all these templates. Most of them have services. So we can pick any one with a service and pick, pick the page that shows service. Uh, let's look at the one, at the one that is uh, free. This one has. Uh, let's see whether we can find services here. So it's taking so much time. So we wanted to use here to create. So most of these ones are premium. Maybe we can see whether this one has 
services will use okay you have services you can use this one you can use this one let's see it's important it okay so it has imported it into our we can now start editing so one thing first I don't like this long yellow this thing this uh, what I do I don't like this well, what do you do you come to the we'll come here and see if we can delete it because we didn't get it from Elementor, we cannot, we don't have a session here. So that you can click on this, and this is more like a Gutenberg, uh, this one, and scroll down and say remove container. Remove this container. It has removed that. So let's look at the next this thing. And still, Let's, uh, let's remove that container. Look here, I'll remove it. So, we have removed that container. We can now go ahead and start customizing this. Customizing means we will now change all this information to suit our own website i'm not going to do that one by one what you need to do here is for instance if this place doesn't make meaning to you what you will do is when you come here you will see this thing come up this uh, handle now click on these three uh, dots and scroll down to you see it say remove container just click on remove container and it's gone so when you finish editing it the way you want, you say up, update. It's now updated. Now that's the way you will create the other two services like uh, personal training and club business. So let's just go and see how it will look like when we hover over here. Now I want you to notice something. When you come to our original listen, where we took off from. You will see that this place has about how many uh, menu items? One, two, three, four, five, six. Before the quote. But in our own, we just have one, two, three, four. So what happened to the rest? Let's see how we can fix it. Now, when you come to here, yeah, now let's go back to our dashboard. Let's go back to our dashboard. I will now go to menu appearance we click on menus okay so here is our menu when you look at this place now what you see is home about services contact that's what you see appearing here home about services this thing. but we have other this is so what do we do when we come here now we we are supposed to see both these pages are created and the ones that are not here. So if you can see them here and I click on view all, it will expand and you will see all the pages. So here now, this is the one I just created. And you can now see this one is not here. This one is not there. We can now, this three now, we can push them over to me. They are now here. They are not here. Now, what we have to do now is that this services now, this services, soccer services, is a sub menu to services. So we can drag this one and put it by the corner. You can see it, it has turned to sub item. It's no longer a full item. If we have others, it will flow. It will flow. But I don't want to waste time. It has, this is taking almost two hours and so 
But here now you see home, you see about, you see services, you see contact, you see. As far as I'm concerned, why choose me? Must should come after services or before services? No, after services. We can keep it here. Testimonials should be after about me. So we have now put it in this fashion. Let us save the menu. Let's save it. Now that we have saved this, let's go to our website and refresh it. Let's refresh it. Let's refresh it. Done. All right. You can see now they have all come. Now you can see this is now. You can see what I said before. This is where we created uh, our. Uh, yeah, but this place is too far away. We created it to give us this thing, but it's too far away. What can we do? Let me see if I can quickly go to. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Customize. 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 Our reason is too far away. That's where we want to. Now, one of the best ways to customize this thing fast is when you click here. Now. You can see this small arrow. So, click here to do this element. These are the elements. So, we can click here now because we want to customize here. We can click here. Let's click here. Okay, so the sub menu has come. The divider, where do we have that problem? The sub menu width. This is width. Design. Sub menu. The size. Offset. Let's bring it to. Offset the spiral. Okay. We can bring it very close. Fine. So we have brought it a little bit close. So we can still reduce it a little. Oh, this is okay. That's what I want. So you can publish it so that this offer. If you have other items now, you have other items if you line up like this. But that's what we want to see. And this one is to to Okay, okay, I'll leave it at this so you can see now we have it here. All right, so let's let's go see if we can cover much ground before we go. Now that we have come to this level, we now have our, our website looking like this. We cannot claim that this is our post canon, this is this now fine. So now we have created this. What do we want to do? We will now have to start customizing. We have only customized this. But because I have shown you how to do the customization in I will not waste time. Here now, when you click here, when you click here, you will see this is the, the page. This is the, you can change here. Once you come here now, what you need to do is to click here. Click here. Click here and go to Elemental. Mm. 
go to Elementor. So this is now this session. Now if you want to edit this session, you can see that there is an image inside there. What you need to do is to click here. This is the session. Enter here. This is the image inside there. You cannot change this image to suit our own purpose. You know, our own is soccer, but I don't have uh, much image about soccer here now. So, you can use any image. In your own case, you can use you can use any image that suits your own niche. So I don't have much thing about soccer here, but I can use this. Let's minimize it. And uh, here now I will say upload. And I will now bring that big guy here. Remember to always optimize. I'm not going to do that. I'm running for time. So I always optimize. Select. Okay. So you can now see that the rhythm has been taken over. Now what is now here is the if you see go further now you will see background over there that's what is taking so when we click on the background over there you can see the background color here the background color here but the the opacity is opacity is so okay so if you want to let it a little bit, you can make it look like this. At least you are seeing something. You can make it like this. I think it's better. You can leave it like this. You can do both words. You can say update. Of course, you know what to do. I've already told you how to edit this. Is just click here and go and edit it. Click here, go and edit it. Click here and remove these images you don't want. Click here and say, okay, let's look for any image at all that whether it makes meaning or it doesn't make meaning. Let's look for this and select it. Okay. So, all this is you now know how to do that. You can change this thing to book a call. You can write one or two messages in the description here. You can change this thing to book a call. I will show you how to do it. These are now, you don't need anything to do here. You can now say update. And you can now use it. So now you have seen all these things. You can I'm sure that you can now handle the rest. Now what happens is that you need to it's necessary that all these pages you just have to go to them one by one and put information. If you don't need all some of these things, why choose me? You go to that page, go to the page in the pages session and delete it. It will wipe out from both the from the main it will wipe out so that there will be no need to click when you go to contact do the same i've shown you how to do that but one necessary thing that i told you that i will do before i leave you is assuming after all these things you want to convert this website to a blog what do you do this now this is a static website 
That means once you have created this website, you have adjusted all that you need to adjust inside all these pages, you have done them, then you don't need to be coming here every day to be writing posts, writing this, writing that. The difference between a blog post, a website, and a blog is that a website is a static site. Once you have created it, it's there. So all you need to do is to start dragging customers, dragging people, friends to it, day after day, year after year. But a blog is a kind of dynamic. You must co be coming in to be updating it from time to time, writing blog posts, showing changes in development and all the rest of them. So what you are seeing here now, what we have created so far, all these things, is a website. It's a portfolio website. It's showcasing you. Here we use the example of a, 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 a coach, a soccer coach. What we have used as a, a soccer coach as a sample. Now your own case may be different. You may be a lecturer. What you are advertising here now is your proficiency in teaching. Or something like that. You may be a lawyer. You now what you're showcasing here is your own case as a lawyer. Dry cleaner, webs, um, uh, pharmacist, whatever. This is how you create a simple website for your business. Now, what if you want to change it to a blog? That's something that we quickly want to do before we call it a day. Let's go to the back end of our website. What you need to do now is to go to pages. And once you go to pages, click add new. This is, remember what I told you about the template. Remember, come here and click food. Good. Now come here and write block. And now hit publish. Publish again. Now this block is now created. The thing you now need to do is to start editing this block from with the elementor. So we click here. So now this is, this is, we want to create a blog. So the first thing we need to do is to click on this selection here. Select Now what we have to do here now, this uh, content will be paused, but we want to stretch it. And now we want to select the height to create minimum height. This time around, we may not make it too big. We make it maybe 250 pixels. And as we have made it 250 pixels, we go to style. And we can now say background, background color. Our, this, our color is has been blue, so let's make it blue. make it blue and leave it there now we want to give it a heading so go to elements click heading drop it here come here and call it blog and put it to the center go to style the test color method white put white 
Okay. Okay. Click update. Now we can I download we can we call it not this in a gradual to the low. But let's just leave it like this. So now what we want to do now is something that will help us to organize the blog page so that every blog or blog post we write will just be aligning. So we want to create what is let's see whether we see the the that's what is called post grid. Okay, it's not there. So what we'll do now, we'll let's quickly rush to the back end of our let's now click on plugin. On plugin. Add a new plugin. Come here and write Adams Elemental. I let it come up. Okay, this is the one we're looking for. Essential add-ons for Elemental. About one point something million installation. That's can see how powerful that plugin is. So let's install it. Install it and then activate it. Okay. It's now activated. We can go keep go and uh, do this things. Uh huh. We need to. So once we come here, click next. Now what we are looking for is this post grid. So it's disabled, but we need to enable it. All this was we may enable it, uh, enable them, but they may not be necessary for us at this point. But it will kill us if we enable them. So here now click next, next. Yes, all this uh, stuff this uh, that will not be no thank you. All right, congratulations. So when we come here, when we come here now and refresh, there's something I want us to do. You will come here and refresh. Okay, so now that we have refreshed it, what we need to do now is we are looking for post grid. Let's see whether we can see it. Okay, the element something is here. So let's click here and write post. Uh huh. You can see it now. This is post grid. What we need to do now is to drag this post grid and place it on this plus sign. Fine. So now, you know why about this? This is the only blog post that WordPress gave our own, you know, it's nature, they kept the default blog post. In the distance. We have not written any blog post, so it, there's no other post you see here. But we want to configure this uh, uh, grid so that whenever you are writing a blog post it will just be populated here. so this is where you, uh, you know, what is the source of the information you want to put here it is blog post what is who is the author for now if you're creating your own it's it will only be you for now except if you have assigned rules to other people those who will help you to contribute to you know writing posts if you click on this plus nine it will show me this is mine that's me only so there's no other person 
So the same thing happens that we have not created any category. We have not created any, so we may need, not need to bother ourselves here. But here now it says post per page. We want to know on a page like this, for instance, this whole page now is a page. It's a page. So now we want to know how many posts on a page do we want to see. So here now we want to put it out to 10. Out to 10 blog posts on the page. Also, now how do you want to order your listing? Is it by date or by what? Well, how do you want? Is it by ID? Is it by author? Is it? I think date is okay. And then order. Order of that date is descending. If you put it in ascending, that means the first uh, blog post you wrote when you maybe ten years ago will be the first post that, that will be seen instead of the latest post. So that will not be good. So we leave it at descending. Now we click on layout. Layout. You see. What is the uh, template layout? We will say by default. It's already meant for us. Default. How many columns of blog posts do you want to see? For instance, if you come here now, you will see here now is one column. If you see here now is another column. If you see here now is another column. What they have put here is four, which makes it small. But we can reduce it to three. You can see now it has expanded. And uh, what is the layout? Is it grid or messenger? We can leave it at messenger for now. Do you want to show load more? Yes, I usually like load more because by the time you expand and you have more than 10 blog posts, if you don't write it show load more, how will people know that there are other blog posts? So that's why I used to put it on. I enable it. Load more, I enable it. So you say show image, show image. Yes, show image. What is the image size? 300 by 300 by 300 is too small. So let's make it large, medium large. Let's move it 7 cc by 0. So that is 16 by 9. So that one is okay. Now I say enable image ratio. There will be no need for that. Ta tag, title tag. Title tag means this hello world here now. If we now say make it H1, let's see what will happen here now. It's supposed to show be the this and we have deleted it. So now but the uh, the better distance is to leave it at uh, uh, H2. Now let uh, do you want to show SX? That is a, a, a brief uh, description of what they said. Do you want to show it? Yes. I want to show it. What the number of words you want to show, as I said. Well, we wrote 10 here, which is very small. Like, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Really so, so bit, somebody may not understand what it is all about. So I normally like leaving it at 500. So that even if it makes me to whoever that is reading it. So let me just, I don't know, waste time. So I leave it at, leave it at 500. And then it says, show read more button. Yes, look at show read more button. So um show meta this is a meta show meta show it show it at uh at a foot at footer or uh, if you if say you want to if you prefer you can say put at header header means you can see where it has come to be it doesn't look good so let's put it at uh footer show avatar this is avatar assuming i have put uh, my photograph somewhere in the mail the my email address it would have shown here my face would have shown here so show it it gives uh, credibility to your blog show avatar name this is avatar name show date with this is this so this is okay i think that's all right if, there, if you click on link at uh, times i don't find much in it because it will show you show no follow target blank if you put no follow 
to ensure that most of the links you put in your uh, blog post will not pull through because there's no follow and uh, um, Google will not even pick it so forget about uh, this site now update now it, what this means now is that as you keep writing blog posts it will now be populated and going down and going down so that this place will be so filled with information with a blog post so if you don't like this uh, color here it's, it's like a two uh, different we can still try something we can try something it's too bluish i can use gradient okay the gradient is even a little bit better you can leave it at that i don't want to go further and further so that's how you can convert this but when you go here now when you go here there's no blog post so how do we here we go back to our back end i will now go to menu go to menu when we go to menu you see these are the things we have put before as many there's no blog there but we have our blog here so we can add it to many so blog is here now but blog cannot be the very far away the blog blog should even be before about now what i'm wanting to have come to observe is that modern websites don't usually put home modern websites if you go to some place like uh, apple.com now you go to apple.com you will see that all these uh, items on the navigation menu all these things now you will not see any place reaching home i don't know so if you want to go to home this is home this place now that is loading up is home but you can go to other places from here when you want to return back to home, you go to this Apple, Apple logo. You click on it, it will bring you here. So, most modern distances don't use, uh, they don't use, this is the home. Let's do something now. This is the home. So, if you want to do that now, you don't have to go navigating here and there. So, so we can exit so what we are saying now is that this home is not necessary because we have put our logo and that logo serves as home so we can expand this we can expand it click on it click on it to open up now we can expand it i have expanded it you can now see where it says remove so click on this remove so that home is gone we can now save it we can save it and now come here and refresh and refresh okay so you can now see that that home is gone you can now see block see blog see other menu items now if you click on this blog now click on this blog it will take you to what we created it will take you here so once we start writing blog posts it will come here as you write it will be populated and each one will go to each uh, each uh, page so that's how you can convert a static website to a blog post I hope you have gotten value from this uh, tutorial. If you have done that, don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And most of all, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe because soon I will, I will upload another interesting video that will help you create content for this blog that you have created. So keep, uh, keep coming up here. Subscribe. 
so that you will get notified as soon as I upload the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, also press the bell icon for notification for future great videos. Thank you.